Hello learners, this is English grade 3, day 1, theme 4, Eat Up. I found this story in the Platinum Reader, page 43. Let's listen and then speak. Look at the picture and discuss what is happening. The father in the picture is saying there is going to be some beating here. There is going to be some whipping. Let's read the story and hear what happened. The Pudding Like a Knight on the Sea, Part 1 I'm going to make something special for your mother, my father said. My mother was out shopping. My father was in the kitchen, looking at the pots and the pans and the jars of this and that. What are you going to make? I said. A pudding, he said. My father is a big man with wild black hair. When he laughs, the sun shines in the window panes. When he thinks, you can almost see his thoughts sitting at all the tables and chairs. When he is angry, me and my little brother Huey shiver to the bottom of our shoes. What kind of pudding will you make? Huey said. A wonderful pudding, my father said. It will taste like a whole raft of lemons. It will taste like a night on the sea. Then he took down a knife and sliced five lemons in half. He squeezed the first one. Juice squirted in my eye. Stand back, he said, and squeezed again. The seeds flew out on the floor. Pick up those seeds, Huey, he said. Huey took a broom and swept them up. My father cracked some eggs and put the yolks in a pan and the whites in a bowl. He rolled up his sleeves and pushed back his hair and beat up the yolks. Sugar, Julian, he said, and I poured in the sugar. He went on beating. Then he put in lemon juice and cream and set the pan on the stove. The pudding bubbled and he stirred it fast. Cream splashed on the stove. Wipe that up, Huey, he said. Huey did. It was hot by the stove. My father loosened his collar and pushed at his sleeves. The stuff in the pan was getting thicker and thicker. He held the beater up high in the air. Just right, he said, and sniffed the smell of the pudding. He whipped the egg whites and mixed them into the pudding. The pudding looked softer and lighter than air. Done, he said. He washed all the pots, splashing water on the floor, and wiped the counter so fast that his hair made circles around his head. Perfect, he said. Now I am going to take a nap. If something important happens, bother me. If nothing important happens, don't bother me. And the pudding is for your mother. Leave the pudding alone. The Pudding Like a Night on the Sea, Part 2 Come into the kitchen, dear, he said. I have something for you. Why, what is it? My mother said, out in the kitchen. Under the bed, Huey and I pressed ourselves to the wall. Look, said my father, out in the kitchen. A wonderful pudding. Where is the pudding? My mother said. Where are you boys? My father said. His voice went through every crack and corner of the house. We felt like two leaves in a storm. Where are you? I said. My father's voice was booming. Huey whispered to me. I'm scared. We heard my father walk slowly through the rooms. Huey, he called. Julian, we could see his feet. He was coming into our room. He lifted the bedspread. There was his face and his eyes black like lightning. He grabbed us by the legs and pulled. Stand up, he said. We stood. What do you have to tell me? 
he said. We went outside, Huey said, and when we came back, the pudding was gone. Then why are you hiding under the bed, my father said. We didn't say anything. We looked at the floor. I can tell you one thing, he said. There is going to be some beating here now. There is going to be some whipping. The curtains at the window were shaking. Huey was holding my hand. Go into the kitchen, my father said. Right now. We went into the kitchen. Come here, Huey, my father said. Huey walked towards him, his hand behind his back. See those eggs, my father said. He cracked them and put the yolks in a pan and set the pan on the counter. He stood a chair by the counter. Stand up here, he said to Huey. Huey stood on the chair by the counter. Now it's time for your beating, my father said. Huey began to cry. His tears fell in with the egg yolks. Take this, my father said. My father handed him the egg beater. Now beat those eggs, he said. I want this to be a good beating. Oh, said Huey. He stopped crying, and then he beat the egg yolks. Now you, Julian, stand here, my father said. I stood on a chair by the table. I hope you're ready for your whipping. I didn't answer. I was afraid to say yes or no. Here, he said, and he set the egg whites in front of me. I want these whipped and whipped well. Yes, sir, I said, and started whipping. My father watched us. My mother came into the kitchen and watched us. After a while, Huey said, This is hard work. That's too bad, my father said. Your beating's not done. And he added sugar and cream and lemon juice to Huey's pan and put the pan on the stove. And Huey went on beating. My arm hurts from whipping, I said. That's too bad, my father said. Your whipping's not done. So I whipped and whipped and Huey beat and beat. Hold that beater in the air, Huey, my father said. Huey held it in the air. See, my father said. A good pudding stays on the beater. It's thick enough now. Your beating's done. Then he turned to me. Let's see those egg whites, Julian, he said. They were puffed up and fluffy. Congratulations, Julian, he said. Your whipping's done. He mixed the egg whites into the pudding himself. Then he passed the pudding to my mother. A wonderful pudding, she said. Would you like some, boys? No, thank you, we said. She picked up a spoon. Why, this tastes like a whole raft of lemons, she said. This tastes like a night on the sea. All right, children, so we saw that these two the children... The Eater, part one. Some wealthy folks from USA who lived near San Francisco Bay possessed an only child called Roy, a plump. <laughs> Sorry about that, children. I had to quickly stop the recording there. All right, little ones, so what we saw from this story is that these two naughty boys ate the pudding. But instead of their father giving them hidings, he made them make another pudding. So let's describe this father. Now in English, we learn about adjectives. Adjectives are words that help us describe something. So in this case, we're going to describe the dad. So I want you to help me. Is he strict? Yes, I think he is strict. Is this father lazy? No, he is not lazy. Is he loving? Yes, he is loving. Is he funny? Yes, I think he has a good sense of humor and making the children think they're going to be whipped. 
but not actually whipping them, but making them whip the pudding. Is he relaxed? Um, a little bit difficult to see because he seems pretty strict. Is he busy? Yes, he's giving a lot of orders. Is he fair? Yes, he is. Is he angry? Yes, he was when the children ate the pudding. And do you think he's an unfair father? No, children, he's not unfair. He helped them to make another pudding to please mommy's heart. All right, also in today's lesson, we would look at the cursive letter M. Basically looking at where the letter starts over here, you must go up, down, up again, up, and around, and up. So we're doing the capital letter M and the small letter M. And we've got a picture here of a monkey. So in the classroom, we would do the worksheet. And also we could draw a picture of the story that we've just heard. Please, for homework, let's focus on the following words. But how I want you to learn the words is sounding each letter out. So we're going to uh, focus this term on the O-W and the O-U, the A-W and the A-U sound. Here are some words to help us. Down. Da o wa n Down. Mouth. M o a ta ha Mouth. Sounded out with teacher as I do this. Pa, r, a, wa, n, prawn. Prawn is a little fish that lives in the sea. S, a, a, k, e, sauce. I like tomato sauce on my chips. Fowl. F, o, wa, l, fowl. M, o, a, N ta a e n break it up mountain mountain this is a word you're going to use a lot in your sentences so get to know the spelling now ba e ka a a s e break it up b cause b cause now this is a word when we've got something frozen in the freezer and we take it out and we start to defrost it, this is the word we will use, thaw. Last term we learned the th sound, so it's th-a-wa, thaw. Ka-o-a-n-ta-s, counts. S-ka-o-wa-l-s. Schools. Ba, r, o, wa, n. Brown, the color brown. Ka, r, o, wa, n. Crown. And then I've given you two sentences that you must complete. The drowsy clown in a gown and crown went down to town with a frown. The second sentence, the old man found a brown fowl in the mountain. Please read these words as you learn them and write them. This will be Monday and Friday, uh, Monday and Wednesday's homework. Also, for this um, homework that you will find in the red homework book, we are looking at the double o, -o sound. Hooked, looked, booked. Football, shook, took, nook, crook, and cook. Please fill in the double O sound. Now it says, please write a short sentence using the following words. Football, shook, and cook. Please remember to make capital letters and full stops. Let's unscramble the following two words. You will find the words in your head. Let's think. Quark could be crook. 
And above, if you take those two little bar, it could be football. Please also write down the plural for the word look. I look, but she looks. We have to put an S on the end of look. At the end of the week, please do your Friday spelling test in your communication book for teacher. But over here, you will see the alphabet letters from A to Z. Use those letters and put all the words for this week in order from A to Z. When you're back at school, teacher will mark it. Thank you.